Hi creative friends, I'm Jane from Sustain My Craft Habit. For a little while now, I've really been wanting to get myself a tiered tray. I know this sounds odd, but it's just one of those things and I finally took the plunge and picked up this beauty. I actually ordered it off of a fellow Etsy seller and it's just beautiful. Like it's got that perfect rustic handmade wooden touch that I wanted. I love that I can change up the decorations for the different seasons and showcase some of the DIY crafts and things that we make. I don't usually have a lot of time to decorate a whole room for a season, so this is kind of a nice contained area to still be able to celebrate, but not have uh, too much to worry about. So with Easter coming up next week, I thought it'd be fun for us to decorate this three-tiered tray together with a number of the crafts and DIYs that we've completed over the last few weeks. We'll have the tutorials for some of those here on YouTube and for other projects over on our blog, sustainmycrafthabit.com. I'll leave the links to those in the description below. And otherwise, let's get started. So the plan here is to go with the tallest and largest pieces first and then add in the smaller ones. These two adorable little felt bunnies, standing bunnies, kind of are too tall to fit anywhere else, so we're putting them on the top. Next, we have some chalky painted Easter mason jars that we recently did, and they're just really cute to look at. They have adding a little bit of color and texture to the tiered tray. So we're just going to put them on the different layers. Now, Sonia made these really pretty wood discs. They have a Cricut cutout, and we'll have the tutorial for those soon but they're two-sided, so even people on the back, who, if you're looking at the tray on the back, will be able to see the design. Um, and so we have one, one wood round for each level of the tray, and the top one says blessed and family and home are the other ones. So we're going to start adding in, layering in some flowers. We have these, the patterns for these felt tulips in our Etsy shop, and they just add a really nice, that spring color. Probably after Easter is done, I'll be leaving these pieces on the tray and removing some of the more specific Easter themed ones. And they just add that nice soft touch, a little bit of um, fabric texture. So next are these painted um, clay pots, and I used a DecoArt suede finish paint to paint these. It's hard to see on the video, but they have a really nice texture to them, and they're perfect for holding all the little items that now we're layering in. So these twine wrapped Easter eggs, we shared the tutorial for here the other day on our YouTube channel and they're really just upcycled plastic eggs that we wrapped with twine and then added a little bit of metallic paint to them. Okay, next we have some of these natural elements, the pine cones. I mean, I'll, we like to use them year round because they just have a lot of texture and interest and dimension to them. Finally, I'm going to be layering in, adding in these, uh, they're actually just dried branches from my boxwood bushes. I will would like to get some dried eucalyptus to add in for future trays, but this is what I had for now. And it just adds that nice kind of greenish color to the mix. Yay, I'm so excited about my adorably decorated three-tier tray. I definitely like all the rustic colors, the more natural earthy colors, but I could have gone with a brighter color palette as well. But I think this will be perfect for this year. What style would you like to see me decorate this tier tray in next? So I should probably, I can show you the back here, and I did need to add a cute little bunny down there to fill it out a bit, but this makes a lovely centerpiece on your dining room table because no matter where somebody is sitting, they have a really lovely view of this beautifully decorated tear tray. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more nature-inspired DIY and craft ideas. Happy Easter, friends!